fly or die. That's the message for you, friends, you sinner. Stop sinning. Believe the Lord Jesus Christ will save you. If you'll confess and forsake your sin as He commands you to. Jesus Christ is the King. No, you don't. You're just lying again. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to God. That's what you've been doing all these years. Taking it, going to church. Pretending you have some kind of relationship with God. And living in wickedness. But God knows you're on holy thoughts. Possibly God knows those things you've done in secret and darkness. Everything that you've done, God will reveal on judgment day you'll be condemned. You'll be naked and ashamed before the Lord God Almighty. You won't have anything to say, sinner. It'll be too late, though. It'll be too late today in the day of mercy. Judgment comes at the point that runs to die and the judgment comes. Once you die, mercy is finished. Today you can receive salvation in Christ. But friends, it'll cost you. It'll cost you your friends. It might cost you some of your family. It might cost you your reputation with people. They're not going to like to hang out with you anymore because you don't want to get drunk anymore. Well, that's what happened to me 12 years ago. I was converted by the Holy Ghost. I became a Christian. I stopped drinking. Why? Because God says no drunkards get into heaven. That's why. No homosexuals, no liars, no thieves, no fornicators. Masturbators? Sorry, you don't go either. Homosexuals don't go to heaven. Sorry. It's not happening. Oh no, Christians are to judge, friends. John 7, 24, judge of the righteous judgment. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, do you not know the saints will judge the world? Before you open your mouth to have spiritual things, read your Bible. Homosexuality is condemned. It's wrong, it's wrong, it's filthy, it's wicked. It's just wicked, it's abnormal. To put that member in that place is absolutely unnatural. Stop it. Mighty piece of filthiness. Stop your list. Stop sitting with something worse happens to you, Jesus said. Yeah, you don't like to hear that. I know. But God commands you, friend, not me. God Almighty, the living God, commands you through His Word from heaven. He thunders down about your sin. Jesus Christ, you have Catholic. the Son, you have life. If you don't have the Son, you don't have life. That's the wrath of God is upon like you. Are you Roman Catholic? Yeah. Psalm 5, 5 says God. So they, they call Mary the co-redeemer of the world. Okay. They try to be saved by their work the work instead of the saved by grace. blood of Jesus God Christ. They make communion and actually turns into blood and flesh. They pray to saints. They pray to Mary. Um, they don't trust in the Bible. They trust in the Pope instead. Those are a lot of different things. Okay. And the more good. Oh, oh, oh good. Uh, yeah. Crazy. Just curious. Okay. You. From. God has demonstrated the benevolent love for every human being. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. But Jesus Christ taught wide is the road to destruction. Many go that way, narrow the way into heaven, few find it. Jesus Christ said, I am in the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to follow but by Him. And that you come through Christ, a narrow way into heaven. You're condemned on judgment day. It's your warning, friend, because I love you. Because I care enough about you to tell you something you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear that you have to give up your sins and become a Christian. You don't want to hear that you have to turn from your sins and live holy before a righteous and holy God. And my dad don't let me go with her because that's not how we were raised, but that's how she is. Is it bad that you serve and stay outside? Well, I'll tell you why. Lots of reasons why it's wrong. They, they believe that Jesus was Michael the Archangel in the flesh. They don't believe Jesus is a deity. They don't believe he's eternal in the past. Uh, and they trust in their works to save them. Well, and they have their own translation of the Bible called the New World Translation. Says, There's lots of different things wrong, but the, the main thing is that they have the wrong Jesus. They don't have the Jesus of the Bible, so therefore they can't be saved. He's always saying Jehovah instead of God. Or when I say, like when I'm praying, I'm like, okay. I'll be like, um, thank you God. Like, all you like. I'll be like, 
Because if it wasn't for Jesus, we wouldn't have to pay the whole lot. It really doesn't matter. Oh, there's lots of names for God in the Old Testament. Uh, there's Jehovah Jireh, which is my, uh, my provider, it's Elohim. Uh, there's Yahweh, and that's really the main word, is Yahweh. Or Yeshua for Jesus. Yeah, but the only person who can save you is Jesus Christ, the Jesus of the Bible. He shed blood on the cross, but they don't believe that. Okay, well, a few things. You asked about three or four different questions there. First of all, you have free will. God gives you the ability to choose right or wrong. Your sister has chosen wrongly. She's not born that way. She's chosen to be that way. In God's eyes, homosexuality was a lesbian or a male who said it was sin. And the Bible says if you want to come to Christ, if you want to be saved and forgiven, you must repent of your sin. You must stop your sin and follow Jesus. Oh, there's no forgiveness and grace for you. It's for you to be saved and to stop your sinning, follow Jesus. So, for her to say God knows you, God does know her. He knows her thoughts, He knows her mind, but that doesn't mean He accepts her as she is. You have to stop her sin, stop her rebellion. No, I don't, no, I don't sin anymore. I stop my sinning. And, and the Bible, and the Bible does. Say, well, I have sinned, but I don't sin anymore. I stopped it. So, can she still be forgiven for that? She can, yes. Yeah, she, I mean, she's still alive. She hasn't died, but she must repent if she's going to be saved. Okay. Yep. Lord's favor. 